What's going on YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I wanted to do an unboxing of the Microsoft Surface Go. Now the reason I wanted to get this product to try it out is I've watched a lot of the reviews about it. I was very curious about it because half of the views say that this is a good device, really nice device, and the other half basically say this thing is garbage. So instead of uh, listening to what other folks had to say about it, I decided to go out and get it and try it myself. So without further ado, let's unbox this thing. As I'm unboxing it, I'll give you my impressions of it initially. And then after about a week or so, I actually give you my full review. So let's crack this puppy open. I literally just picked this up at the Best Buy in my area. And I went ahead and got the pen and the keyboard because that is one bummer I got to say off the bat is they don't include the keyboard because in order to complete the experience, you've got to have the keyboard. But Enough babbling, let's crack this puppy open here. And in case you're wondering, this is, like I said, the 128 gigabyte model. Now, all said and done, buying this, the keyboard, and the pen, I left Best Buy after paying tax, paying 805 bucks. So, right there, it kind of takes it out of the budget realm per se um obviously you can get the four gigabyte 64 gig model uh four gigs of ram 64 gigabyte storage and you're going to save a little bit of money but from what i've seen it seems like you really do need the eight gigabytes but anyways let's open this and very nice packaging boxing here's the device itself and it feels really light this kind of reminds me of an ipad air Two, to be honest with you. It's actually a little bit smaller than a 10.5 inch iPad. All right, there we go. Really nice. Let's get this out of here. So, yeah, wow. That is uh, super light. There's the kickstand. Um, Real quick, I'll just tell you the ports. This has got one USB Type-C, one headphone jack, and the Surface Connect port, and a micro SD slot, and that is it. So, let's see what else is in the box here. And the packaging is actually very nice. Looks like we've got all your standard materials that nobody reads. It'd be nice if Microsoft took off their uh, Apple and kind of included some kind of stickers, but they do not. All right, so here is the power. Now, my dog is whining, I apologize. So yeah, you got your standard Surface um, looking connector. It kind of looks very similar to uh, the Surface 3 and then it goes to the Surface Connect. Now I do know you can charge it with this or you can charge it through the USB Type-C port. So we'll set that to the side. And that is all you get in the box for the Surface. You get no pen, no keyboard, just the tablet, which again, if you know anything about Surface devices, they're not really a tablet first. It's more of a ultra book that can serve as a tablet, even though they try and market it otherwise. All right, so let's check out the Alcantara keyboard. Now I went ahead and got the cobalt blue pen and keyboard because Seems like every video I've seen, everybody's got the red one. So I kind of wanted to go a little bit different. So I went with the Cobalt. All right, now, to be honest, I'm hoping this device is good because I kind of want to keep it. But that's all going to depend on the performance. So this thing is definitely a pain in the butt to open. There we go. So uh, I got the keyboard out and it comes with a little bitty booklet. Again, some stuff that nobody reads. But this is again the Alcantara fabric. This is a hundred and twenty-nine bucks, which is really high for this. It should be included. But you can also get a ninety-nine dollar version. It's not quite as fancy looking, um, but everything else is the same on it. This is actually a glass trackpad. Feels really nice already, I can tell. So let's do this so you get the whole effect there. And that is a extremely thin and light package. 
I'm not gonna lie. Boom, so there it is. But that looks pretty darn nice, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Yeah, all right. And finally, the sold separately pin. Now, the pin is 99 bucks, but for whatever reason, this color pin, the cobalt blue pin, is on sale for 75 at Best Buy. Um, all the other pins are 99. I don't know why this particular one is on sale. Maybe they haven't sold as many of these things. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. To, I'm trying to get this open without destroying the box. That this one is on sale and the others aren't. I guess maybe nobody buys the blue one. But I bought the blue one to match the cobalt keyboard. So, you got your typical surface pen here. If you've ever used one of these, there should be no surprises. Um, of course, I don't know why they wrap this thing up in plastic like this. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, let me get this stupid plastic off of this thing. There we go. Getting warmer. Wow. Why would you put all this plastic on this thing? Anyway, got that off. Here is the surface pin, and there should be a battery in here. Hopefully. Maybe. Got your booklets. All right, so there's no battery. Maybe it's already installed. <clears throat> so let's see here. Whatever. Pull that later. Yep, there's a light flashing, so it doesn't have a battery. And this should magnetize like all the other Surface models. And it does. And that's actually on there pretty good. So that's it. That's what you get in the box. Um, it's going to take me a little while to get this thing set up, but that'll conclude the unboxing. So as always, what I do with my videos that I unbox, if you have any questions, anything you want me to test on this, drop it in the comments below. And during the next week, week and a half, as I'm testing this thing, I'll go ahead and test whatever you want me to try on this thing. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Then you'll know when it drops. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.